Hi, my name is Matt Denicourt, and I am an Applications Engineer here at Hena Instruments. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you the effects of temperature on the dissolved oxygen content of water. Now, measure, measuring dissolved oxygen, or DO for short, is uh, important in a variety of applications, including aquaculture, uh, beverage analysis, ecological studies or water quality, and wastewater treatment. Now, as you can see here, I have a HANA meter, probe, and stirring plate all set up. We're using our HI9146 portable dissolved oxygen meter today. And over here, I have our water sample, coming in at around 9 degrees Celsius. Let me just get that onto the stirring plate and get that moving. When measuring for dissolved oxygen, you want to make sure that you stir or agitate or move your sample around. This ensures proper oxygen migration through the probe membrane. You also need to make sure that you have a calibrated meter and a properly polarized probe. These three aspects are important and vital for accurate readings. Alright, looks like we're ready, so put the probe in. Just going to wait for it to stabilize. And it looks like we're coming in at around 8.9 parts per million for dissolved oxygen. Great. Now, remember that number, because I'm going to take this sample and heat it up. I'll bring it back. Okay, well, that didn't take long. Let's get our thermometer in there. Looks like we're coming in at around oh, 44 degrees. Good increase. Get that on the stirring plate and get that moving. And now we're ready for our probe again. Wait for it to stabilize. And we're at around 6.9 parts per million. That number is quite a bit lower than our previous measurement. So as you can see, as the temperatures increase, the dissolved oxygen content has decreased. So what happened? Temperature can be loosely defined as a measure of the kinetic energy or motion energy of particles. So as the temperature in our sample increases, the motion of the molecules inside of it are increasing as well. Greater particle motion or molecule motion means a greater opportunity for collisions and bonds breaking in forces that are attracting the oxygen and water to break. So, as you can see, in cooler waters, we'll have more dissolved oxygen, and in warmer waters, we'll have less. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any more questions, just go to hannahinst.com. See you later.